Boy, so proud of our guys. Um, you know, they had a lot working against them today. Uh, we've been banged up, beat up team. Uh, a lot of things went, didn't go our way. Talk about, uh, I think, you know, if you include the last one, four red zone possessions with three points. And, uh, you know, guys just could have, you know, turned the ball over, make mistakes, do a lot of different things. But I'll tell you what, you know, those guys kept battling, they kept fighting. Uh, and they, they found a way to win, you know, found a way to win. And that, you know, they had 113 years of history going against them out there on that field today. 113 years of history uh, that they refused to let stop them there in the end. And uh, proud of our guys. Look at the guys, you know, senior class, you need your seniors with key moments to go make plays. You know, you look at Nico Whitley, they got the ball getting ready to go in. Found a way. Somehow, some way, found a way to make the play. Uh, Tyler Russell, you know, practiced half a practice this week, came out and, uh, I mean, to do what he did, hang in there the way he did, 18 of 28, 263, two touchdowns, had a pick on a, you know, I mean, one that maybe if he's 100%, the ball has a little bit, gets there just a half second sooner and it's a big play. Um, you know, just so proud of him. And uh, obviously we'll enjoy this. Well, the coaching staff will enjoy it for the next 10 minutes, and uh, then we go get ready for Thursday night. Let's talk about overtime on the road, place where we <laughs> put the ball in the hands of a freshman quarterback. Was that just called all the way for him to go? That was a, that was a called quarterback run. We had a couple other things maybe we were looking at doing um, off of it, and uh, would have set some things up or some other things. But, you know, I, I, sometimes the best decision is to, uh, in big situations, to let those guys go. You know, he's here. For that moment, and um, you know, to, to, to kind of put him in a situation where he uh, uh, he's got to either check plays sometimes, or make reads, or other stuff, or no read, he just got to keep and run it. So you think maybe he's going to get whacked and uh, pretty hard, and that'll knock him loose and get him into the situation. I think you know, even though he played a bunch in the game, I think once you get hit, uh, kind of get you knocks those cobwebs loose, get you ready to go. And he was certainly ready to go and uh, found a way to, to make a play to win. But I mean, I was, our defense came up huge. I mean, they, you know, gave up a little, you know, gave up to me 339 yards, which isn't bad. It kind of seemed to me at times, you know, we didn't do the things we needed to do, you know, on third down. We weren't great on third down uh, today defensively. But uh, when it came down to it, they made the big play to win the game. But then you finished. I mean, you got ten points at the end of that first half, and then you finished this ball game off. I mean, this is kind of a yes, kind of reversal, reversal of everything that's kind of happened to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you look at you know the situation we had. Unfortunately, you know, we had a great learning for our guys. We had a chance to score at the end of the first half and score in our first possession in the second half, which you know they really could have. Their offense could have stepped off the field at ten ten and come back on at twenty four to ten. Uh, we didn't do that. You know, they came back on still at ten to ten. Uh, to give them momentum. Uh, but, you know, it's great. We can show our guys those things. Those are things that need to get done. Uh, you know, for us to take the next step, you know, for us to become a, uh, a, a championship contending team uh, in the end, those are things that have to, you know, those you have to take advantage of every opportunity. Now, uh, also, though, finding a way to win on the road in overtime is a big step for us. I, you know, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's our, like our first fourth quarter comeback. Uh, since, you've been here. Since I've been here, that's our first. 33 in a row, yeah. Yeah, so now no, it's one in a row. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 113, I mean, think of that. 113 years we've been coming, not really have become, we haven't been here that often, really, have we? Like 14 times. Um, but, uh, I think twice before 1992. Yeah. Only twice before 92? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 19, was it? 19 to 36. Yeah, we did have that streak from 1990 to 1996. <laughs> yeah, we beat him two in a row, too, exactly. that time, too. Uh, but you know what? I, I mean, to me, I, I think when you look at where we're headed, the direction we're going in, and our young guys, uh, like I so said, we don't have a real big senior class, but these young guys are learning um, what it takes to win under in any circumstance. You know, and... Uh, uh, you know, you give those guys credit. I mean, give, you know, Brett and that, that crew, he's building his program right there. You can see um, what they're trying to build and how they're trying to build. They have, they have a tough, physical defensive line that makes plays. Uh, they have a big, physical offensive line 
I mean, they ran the ball uh, for 225 yards on us, which is, I mean, I mean, we've held some really good rushing teams down in st rushing statistics this year. You know, I think, you know, the two top teams, like Auburn and Texas A&M, we, we were able to stop. They, they were able to run the ball on us today. We've got to look at that. Uh, but you can see what, what they're trying to build here and, and the direction he's got this program headed in, which is to get back to being a, great, a really good program. You talked Monday about how someone's got to step up eventually. It can't just be the seniors. And you have a freshman quarterback and a sophomore cornerback to make the interception. I mean, yeah. how big is that going forward for these guys? That they're not looking around anymore to see who's going to make those plays. You know what? It, it is huge for those guys. I mean, we had a true freshman catch a pass there. I guess they said he pushed off. <laughs> I got. I get. I, I watch myself. I get frustrated. Okay. I wanted it to be a catch. Okay. So I have. I maybe have blinders on. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, the, Steve Shaw and the commission will tell me you're completely wrong. It was completely right call. No matter how bad I wanted it to be a catch, we had a. You know. They do do a great job. Our official. I told the one guy. I was yelling at the one official after one game. I saw him a couple weeks later. And, we had intercepted a pass, and they called pass interference on him. You probably don't remember that. And they called and said it was the right call. I looked at him and I said, sorry for ripping you. I really wanted that interception, though. <laughs> I really wanted that touchdown pass right there. So, uh, But, uh, no, it is. You know, it, it is good to see these young guys figuring out, you know, in situations, understanding that, hey, they're going to do it. Because, you know, next year they're going to be a year older. They're going to be, you know, time goes fast sometimes. And, you know, all of a sudden... You know, if you're not ready to go make those plays, you look at you look back and it's almost gone, and you haven't made them yet. So the, the, as these young guys are, you know, Josh Robinson's a young sophomore comes in the game, uh, rushes for over 100 yards on one of the uh, on a really really good run defense. Uh, you know, the young guys come in and expect to go make good things happen. As kind much of, as you wanted to get the field goal, to obviously when it was in regulation. Getting into an overtime game, does that sort of play to this defense's strengths against that offense in sort of a permanent red zone situation? Boy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I would have still taken the field call <laughs> at the end of regulation. You know, and, and I, I appreciate Devin. I mean, he, he came in into that win, you know, and the question came, you know, do, you know, I'm sure you get a question, that overtime, if he would have kicked the field, he would have gone right back out there because, I mean, he got a hold of that kick now. I mean, he just, I mean, he hit it, and I thought, ooh, you know. <laughs> It, it, you know, it, it just, I guess, finally, like, karma comes around and, and it goes right through the uprights and uh, it, it just pushed it a little bit. But um, I guess it's, 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 I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, you look at them and for them, I, I, they're a power run team and we're playing, you know, at that point we're going to be probably playing with a true freshman quarterback and hasn't played a whole lot. Now, overtime probably leads to their advantage getting into that situation. Talk about the play that Nico made, and, you know, to strip the ball down there when kind of had your back against the wall there. Huge, you know. I mean, you, you look at it. That's what's expected. You know, you go back to guys, and Nico's been here a long time. Uh, you know, I go back and, and look at key moments for us. You know, and you, and you always go back to those guys that find a way to do it, and, he, and he's learned from those. And the young guys got to learn that. John Banks in Tennessee last year made a huge play to help us really swing momentum to win the game. Nico Whitley does it today. Chris White did it in, at Florida a couple years ago. You know, the, 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 those seniors, they know it's just that moment that, hey, as you look around, you know, we're going to play great defense. Other guys are going to make plays. But, hey, you know, I'm the guy. I, I, I've been here for – I'm a fifth-year senior. I've been starting for all these years. I've put in all my work, you know. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, Nico's made tons and tons and tons of plays since he's been here. But I'll never forget that one. Can you talk about you know, your younger players being able to respond to watching two senior leaders just on the field and not moving for a while when you got Perk on the ground and then you got Kyle? <laughs> but that can be that can be emotional for, for younger players. It can be, that. you know, and those guys, Perk. Perk didn't did he come he didn't come back in, did he? No. They said he could be okay, but they were a little worried. He got a shot in the ribs. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, Josh can but we but we trust the other guys, you know, and uh, uh you know, and then Tyler there at the end. I mean, I, get, I mean, hanging in there trying to make the throw. Uh, we gave up a little too much pressure tonight. You know, with, without without blitzes coming uh, with our with our O line. Uh, he's but you know, you give Tyler credit in that situation. He hung in there to make the throws. I mean, that's you go 18 of 28 on 263 and two touchdowns, and you do that on half a practice. Uh, just shows you know what. It, 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 I don't know. People probably have given him a hard time this year. 
Uh, you know, it just shows the type of kid he is and, and how far he's come and what he is in this program. How, you know, what he's meant to this program and what he gives to this program is pretty special. And, um, you know, for a guy to do that and come out and perform the way he did, how he did under the circumstances he did, uh, I thought was fantastic. When you woke up this morning, what was the quarterback situation going through your mind? Uh, well, I knew Dak probably wouldn't play. You know, Dak's probably out to a bowl game. Um, you know, hopefully Dak will play in the Liberty Bowl this year. <laughs> um, you know, be back for that. So, uh, but, you know, what it was is uh, Tyler threw Thursday. It's a little sore Friday, so he didn't throw Friday. Uh, so, you know, he said, I'll be okay. I'm going to make sure I'm okay. You know, he's been around, so it's not like, hey, Hey, get some more throws to see if, if you're going to be okay on Friday. He knows what he's doing. And um, came out and said, I'm okay, but I, I you know, to be honest with you, I, my plan was Tyler to go to the start, Damian to get the second series in case he has to come in in overtime or something to try to win the game for us. At least he's played and he's fresh uh, just to give him that series. And, uh, you know, and then go back to Tyler and let Tyler kind of do the game and mix Damian in on a couple plays here and there throughout the rest of the game. And uh, that was kind of the plan. Uh, came in from warm ups and he said he felt you know he said he felt okay throwing it today and I said uh, you know fastballs are just change ups and he said uh, you know it goes on you know a little bit it goes I'm gonna be throwing some change ups out here but uh, but uh, but I'll be able to make some throw I'll be able to make the throws did that it, I need to make today did it go across your mind at all to leave Tyler in for the second series because it was so backed up or were you comfortable with putting obviously uh, you were comfortable. I was comfortable I was, you know what I mean that was the plan I wanted to put Damian in there and. Uh, you know what? I, I looked at that and said, uh, conventional wisdom would say, hey, you know what? <laughs> Go with Tyler. But you know what? Damien took all the reps this week of practice. Uh, I trust him. Uh, he's got to learn how to handle that situation and, um, and did a great job of it. Thanks, Sam.